Let's go back to the late 80s and early 90s, back when games were simple and more minimal, back when they required a level of skill to complete that not many modern games require, where every nook and cranny is a new secret to be discovered. Well, this is Fez. Fez was announced in 2007 by Phil Fish and his company Polytron. However, it wasn't until April 2012 that Fez was actually completed. That is a five-year development time, which is quite a while if you ask me. To quote Phil in a later interview, what you are playing is basically Fez 3. We have scrapped and started over this game about twice now until it is the game that you see today. This just goes to show how much the folks on Polytron really do care about Fez. Phil then said in another interview that, that people see him as the man making Fez, and that he, quote-unquote, is Fez. Well, all of this determination did pay off, because Fez is single-handedly one of the wackiest, most charming, most fun indie games that I've ever played. This game is about a small, pixely protagonist named Gomez, whose task is to get all 32 cubes and restore order to his crumbling world. At the beginning of this game, Gomez is greeted by an old man named Geezer, Geezer, bleh, I can't speak, who assists him in getting his Fez. With the power of this Fez, Gomez can turn the world by and making the playing field very diverse. The 256 bits of cube in this game become quite a challenge to find as you turn the world, searching every corner. Each level in Fez is totally different from the last, from tree canopies to a lighthouse on an island. There is no telling what you will find next. Fez involves no combat or any action to speak of. There are no enemies, there is no death penalty, and there is no life system. This, make Fez, this makes Fez a really relaxing and joyous game to play. It also helps broaden it, its audience to, well, almost anyone. This is a good thing, because it draws in people that you may not otherwise expect to be playing video games in general. In the end, I'm not going to give Fez a number rating. I feel like the choice for you to buy this game should be because of what I've said not because of a scale of 1 to 10. However, I would like you to keep in this in mind. Fez is an unforgettable, fun experience. The art is beautiful, the music is sublime, and everything is fantastic about it. But, again, the choice is up to you. So, if you want to see more reviews or videos, please do remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.